Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. My name is Anuj. I'm a second year medical student at GMC Nagpur. If you're new here, I make videos on anything that interests me and also helps you out. So consider subscribing if you're a medical student or a medical aspirant. So this thing, I really wanted to make a video on this. That is technology I use as a med student. So I've got basically two of the most important investments in my entire life. That is, first of all, I've got this nice computer along with it. I've got an iPad. A lot of you wanted to know what version it is, so I'm gonna cover everything in this video, don't worry. And apart from that, I'm gonna do like an honorable mention at the last of the video. So basically, the two things which are most important right now as a student, which I want is, first of all, that is my computer. A lot of the things happen in there. And second of all, my iPad. And also my phone, obviously. I'm back from college right now. It's 6.30 right now. And I'm filming this. Let me show you how I make the best use of all of my devices and how you can do the same too and achieve a lot of things. So first things first, there's almost every single book that you can possibly imagine. It is available on the internet. If you search and if you dig a little bit enough, you'll find it somewhere in a PDF format. So that is a well-known fact in our generation. So what the prime usage I have is that if I have these mobile devices such as my phone or my iPad with me at any time of the day, I can just have all the books and all the information which is out there right in my hands. So I don't need to do anything else, just have to download the PDF. I know my phones can work in the same manner too, but iPad, I'm going to specify in just a minute about why I like it so much. There are tons of videos which you would like definitely prefer watching on a bigger screen than just watching on your phone. First, let us talk about the iPad. So this is here, I've got my iPad. And this is the sixth generation 9.7 inch iPad with the iPad pencil, the first generation one. The prime usage of this guy, actually there are two uses. So the first use as a medical student is that I can read a lot of books in it, which I otherwise would find very difficult to read on a smaller screen, screen such as my phone and also I would also prefer watching any online videos about education or about anything in a bigger screen rather than a small screen such as my phone. So the screen size itself is a very big factor which I think people should consider when buying an iPad. I wanted to buy the 12.9 inch, I guess it was 12.79 inch iPad Pro but obviously we are short of funds. <laughs> So I have bought this and I'm very happy with it. I don't think a student needs anything more than this right now. That is the first thing that I do with my iPad. The second thing important one is that I can take notes from it anytime I want. So note taking is an important thing in the medical school and that is this is the entire entirety of my notes. This is the thing which has revolutionized my note taking since then. So the app that I'm using right here which you can see on the screen. So the app which I use mostly is called as GoodNotes and GoodNotes 5 if you are downloading it later. It goes about 799 or 699. So what it does is that it allows you variety variety of options. You can create folders, you can have notebooks in them, you can have quick notes and it allows you to do it with different uh, colors and it allows you to highlight. It allows you to basically do anything that you want to do with any kind of PDF or you can start your own notes. So a lot of my subjects I preferentially make notes in this piece of technology I have because it just really makes it easy to have all of these things in one place. But given the fact that I also make notes in the normal textbooks and I don't know whether my college allows the use of iPad for note taking in classes. I don't really know about that because I well haven't tried, that, tried out that stunt yet may try it out sometime in the year. <laughs> I'll let you know if I do. So apart from this, I usually take small, small pieces of notes in the classroom, but I usually then compile them into this guy. So for example, I've opened Robins here and I'm on chapter 24, the endocrine system right now. So we have here things like clinical courses. So first of all, we can use the pencil to like annotate something like, okay, this seems important or you can also just go on about to highlight stuff so you can do whatever you want to do like a regular book so that's a benefit I have of not carrying the book around but still I'm also getting everything that I can with a book so this is how I read books and also you can see that I also make notes 
don't mind the spellings. So I also make notes here and they seem to be pretty clean. So this is done using the iPad and you can just read the notes like this and all of the things will be clear in your head. So like mediators of inflammation, like histamine, serotonin, arachidonic acid, etc. So yeah, they, that is basically what happens. Uh, that is one of the biggest benefits that you have all your notes and you can read the books. So that is the primary use of my iPad. So these are two prime functions that I do, note taking and reading. So an iPad makes it really easy. Also, books, if you know, are really expensive these days. If you go on and buy something such as Robbins or maybe Harrison, that, that's going to cost you like a lot. So basically, you can download anything for free on the internet. So this is how an iPad is really useful for a student. So yeah, this iPad, this has literally changed my life since I bought it. And I really like it. If you have enough funds, just go ahead and buy it. Uh, one important investment that I'd like to tell you is that if you're buying an iPad, just make sure you also have the pencil with it because it really just expands your possibility. By the way, the MedNotes cover, I designed it all on this little thing. So yeah, that's about that. And the next important thing uh, about Buta setup. So this is the CPU right over here and this is a monitor. So this is a Samsung monitor. It's a big name and this is a red CPU. I think it's called red. It's yes, it's a red CPU with about 16 gigahertz of RAM and it's got two terabytes of storage. It has got a 4 GB graphic card. I'm not a tech reviewer, but I really like to be specific. So that it's got a lot of power in that. A lot of the videos which you see are mostly edited here or my laptop right there. So basically that's that. First of all, uh, the PC made it possible to edit um, large files. My laptop just couldn't take the stress. So I bought a PC and it really just increased the amount of editing and the processing speed, which I can have with 16 gigs of RAM. It's, I know it's low on the moderate range, but still, it's pretty fast for a medical student. On the screen, I usually do the stuff that includes Google Docs. So I primarily use Google Docs as a way to make slides or make short notes if I'm done with type if I'm done with writing stuff down I usually prefer to type it typing is one thing that I usually do in Google Docs using this huge monitor or my laptop over there as you may might have seen in my last study with me video hi so this is how I use my PC so as you can see I've opened up a document of sketchy microbiology and sketchy pharmacology in here you can see gram positive bacillus so this is sketchy if you don't know about sketches go and search it on google so this is basically an image and if you see this image you can verify a lot of things from it like this grinning face and there's a monkey cutting its own pulley and there's one in the one guy in cage and then it's obligate anaerobic dude and stuff like that so basically if i go get bored reading books i can just read pdfs from here or like read different things from here so books can be downloaded for free and i don't think you need to spend like a thousand of rupees for just buying books you can have it all downloaded in here apart from that like i told you i usually prefer to type out things rather than just write them down because occasionally my typing speed goes off the roof and i can type very fast so a thing which i recommend to everybody is just google docs so google docs is a free service sent by google it basically allows you to create documents for free because microsoft apparently charges you for off using microsoft office right now so this is like a lot of things general micro hemodynamic anatomy so i just like to create a lot of questions and a lot of things i usually write the answer to them if i get bored so this like for example, I'm studying general microbiology. After it's done, I can just write who was the first person to observe the bacteria, what is Scott's phenomena, what did Stanley Fellow suggest, and stuff like that. So I've typed out like entire general microbiology over here. So just using this thing and reading this final document, I can uh, have like everything in my pocket. Like you can see it was edited last two days ago. So this is one of the major advantages that I can use Google Docs for my general activities over here. And that could really just overpower me for example i want to study anemia so i can just open the rbc and bleeding disorders and then the first thing that pops up is anemia so i can for like beta thalassemia i can go okay what is the fate of thalassemic rbcs what happens in the spleen and stuff like that and i've got infectious diseases and stuff like that so uh, this google docs is like a really good thing if you don't really want to have anything to do just type out questions for yourself and whenever you find the time you can write the answers to them 
so yeah that's how basically i use my pc and apart from that uh, we all know that video editing can be a bit tedious so i can go over open this app called as filmora in this thing and using filmora most of this videos which you see on the channel are mostly edited via this software called as filmora so yeah that's all about how i use my pc and taking you back to my original video right now i'm not suggesting that uh, one should just go and buy stuff like that if you really feel after this video that you need it you can do that so google docs is obviously we all know that microsoft word is also uh, a good software and microsoft office is basically good software but it is charging people now to take subscriptions so google obviously has to interfere with every single business they can get their hands on so google docs is a place which you can actually make word and ppt like or spreadsheet like documents very easily so what i usually do is whenever i'm studying and i'm tired of just taking notes i just uh, try and make up some questions and then i type out the answers to them so instead of just writing everything i prefer typing because that is a kind of much more organized way and my typing speed is better than my writing speed so most of my editing work goes on the pc along with that i do some typing work i write the script for my videos if they are scripted in some cases like study with me or this video which i am making right now apart from that i also happen to have a boat speaker actually let me just get the hi so this thing this is an honorable mention right here that this thing this since the day i bought it i don't think i've used much earphones to listen to music see the thing with me is that i can't really study without having a little bit of music in the background so this thing just bashes out sound it's not sponsored because well, we don't have a lot of subscribers <sighs> anyway so boat speaker honorable mention and apart from this uh, my 9th 8th 9th grade Uh, Lenovo laptop, <laughs> which has served me well, and also cost a lot of money because it has repaired. It has been repaired in bits and pieces. So yeah, two things: my boat and my old Lenovo. So this is like a high school sweetheart. So Lenovo and boat. These are also the two things which I actually use. In summary, I use my computer basically for reading and typing stuff. then i use my ipad again for reading and taking notes which is the prime use and then this guy and my laptop so i think that is almost all the technology that i could integrate and my phone obviously we just don't have to mention that because everybody knows about it <sighs> anyway thank you so thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it means more than anything else and uh, consider subscribing It's a really fun channel. Let's take this channel to great heights with you. We can achieve that. Thank you and happy new year once again.